Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. In the seducy, but beggars cannot be choosy. Been a queen for eight summers. Just tell them to call me Susie. Is that Nikki? Is that? The last time I posted a video was in May, and it is currently December. Um, so today I'm basically gonna be telling you a a little life update, where I've been, BMT things, follow up video for what I packed for BMT and. All of the above. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's been a while. So, hey guys, um, if you don't know who I am, Airman First Class Holt just got promoted uh, November 29th because I have been in tech school for 20 weeks. But we'll get into that. Getting into what I packed for BMT video, I will link that video down below. Clothing 70 pairs of under 17. Where did I get that number from? 14 pairs of underwear and 7 pairs of sports bras perfect number perfect number because you don't know what's gonna happen with laundry things happen things get lost just bring a good amount of underwear I can suggest paperwork the filer I did not bring with me but I should have because I don't know why I didn't and um, yeah like everything else I pretty much brought with me like my face wash was okay my hair stuff was okay everything else was pretty much fine it was all travel size and um, it fit in my security drawer so um basically just bring what you think that you'll need like your if you wash your face every night um wash your face like bring your little face wash bring a travel size version of it and if you don't have time to wash it one night you might have time to wash it the next night you never know but it doesn't hurt if you bring it because you can always just leave it in your civilian bag um make sure you bring stuff with labels on it don't bring anything in a travel container that doesn't have it labeled because they'll just make you throw it away and um, you don't want to bring like your expensive creams or anything just bring something that'll kind of just do for eight and a half weeks um, if you guys want more boot camp stories I can definitely give you some in later videos I have a journal on everything that happened in boot camp uh, I wrote a lot in boot camp I like journaled almost every day at least or at least twice three times a week I found a lot of time to just try to like write down my thoughts and what's happening and what's going on around me moving on into um, uh, how I got here uh, whew. so I graduated BMT left got into the debt program October of 2018 got a date February 2019 left May 2019 and graduated July 12 2019 and left for tech school July 15th and arrived at Goodfellow Air Force Base. So BMT is at Joint Base San Antonio Lackland Air Force Base and that is BMT land. That is where all of the airmen are made. There are no other boot camps BMTs for the Air Force. It's just Lackland Air Force Base. And um, after you graduate BMT you go to your tech school unless you're guard and you don't have orders to go to tech school you go straight back to your unit but that's like a guard thing I don't know anything about that but some people do that anyways so you get your orders to go to your tech school and I took a bus from San Angelo or San Antonio to San Angelo and I've been in San Angelo ever since it's a very small town not really a lot of things to do here I am in job training currently my job takes a little bit longer to train for than other jobs most tech schools are like 30 to like 60 70 days maybe at the longest and my tech school is 110 uh, school days so that's roughly like six months um, not including like washbacks I did get medically washed back because I got sick and I missed class for like three days so things happen my graduation day got pushed back about two weeks because I'm in a class that's um, right behind us but it's honestly no big deal um, we're here anyways so yeah it's kind of that's kind of a thing I did also start class late because they didn't have any room for me in the class that I came here with all the people that I improved with started class the week after improv week and I started class two weeks later so I am pretty much a month behind my actual group that I came with but um, we're all gonna be operational eventually so it kind of doesn't really matter I'm just here learning my job trying to become the best one I know that I can be you know um, 
So how kind of tech school works at Goodfellow, if you are Intel, I can only speak about um, the 315th training squadron that I'm in. Uh, I was in the 326 training squadron at boot camp at BMT and now I am the 315th training uh, training squadron at Goodfellow Air Force Base and you come in as phase one airmen you're straight out of boot camp um, you look like you're straight out of boot camp you feel like you're straight out of boot camp you're waiting for everyone to yell at you no one's really gonna yell at you here it's a very chill relaxed environment because everyone's always so stressed so they want to make things as relaxed but still very um, I think under control um, and you basically have to be in uniform 24 seven. So either PT gear, ABUs, unless you're in your room sleeping, you can sleep in your um, civilian clothes, but you can't really leave your room in um, like normal clothes. So then you're in phase one for a month and phase two is being able to wear regular clothes in and outside of your dorm, being able to go off base because phase one, you couldn't go off base. You can become a phase three, which I just did. Um, last week, the beginning of last week. I was eligible for phase two um, in the middle of November, but I decided to in December, just cause um, it was the right time and I had time to go take care of all the things I needed to. And now I'm phase three. So phase three is no curfew. You live out of the main dorms, the main um, 315 training squadron dorms, and you live in the old permanent party dorms or there are another phase three dorms right next to us. Yeah, I got really lucky and I got to be able to move out of the dorms and move into here, which is really nice. So I've been in tech school. Weekends are kind of for us for now, unless we get in trouble. Um, they can, they have the right to do that. We are in the military. Um, if we get in trouble, we have punishments, group punishments, all that fun stuff. Uh, just had a GI party yesterday on Friday because uh, our dorms weren't looking so nice. So they just do things like that just to keep us in check and remember like, hey, you're still in the military, keep that discipline and stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, weekends, you know, we just drive around, have fun as much as we can without getting in trouble. Um, went to San Antonio for Thanksgiving. Um, I'm going to San Antonio next weekend for my friend's wedding and we're just gonna have a blast. Yeah, there's not really like a lot of things to do in this area, so we try to like adventure out as much as we can to uh, have good times because once it comes to the weekdays, we're all focused on school. Like, school is very, very stressful. I go to school Monday through Friday, 0730 to 1630, sometimes 1700, depending on how our day is going and if we need to finish things or not. And there I'm being taught how to do everything, like how to learn my job and give briefings and learn briefing techniques. I just gave a brief yesterday and I was clicking my own slides and I was like, here is this. And then I said slide and I realized that I was clicking my own slides and it was really embarrassing. But it's like, you just learn things like that and it's really fun. Um, it's very, very complica complicated sometimes and it gets very hard and you just have to deal with it and learn it and just get through it because Honestly, it's, it's pretty fun though. Um, other than that, I mean, I've gone home a few times, which is really nice. I've gone home all like all three day weekends that we've had and except um, Thanksgiving, that's when I went to San Antonio. But like Labor Day weekend, Columbus weekend and like Memorial weekend, I went home. So that was really fun. Uh, yeah, so if I don't know what else to catch you guys up on. I mean, that's pretty much what I've been up to just in tech school, being really busy. My computer did break, or not break, but it didn't, it would not talk. It wouldn't let me update it, so it's now updated so I can edit now. Excited, so hopefully you guys get to see this video. If not, I really suck and I'm so sorry. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and leave any questions that you have for BMT or tech school down in the comments below you can also message me on instagram it'll be right here um yeah i usually try to answer my dms as much as i can if i see if it's if it's about like bmt or tech school or anything um if you find me on facebook uh, i am on the air force bmt shippers page i always post or comment in there every once in a while and i love answering questions and stuff like that i love helping out people who are being in, who are interested in joining the air force because i think it's i think it's really cool
um, I definitely recommend it if you are looking to join or debate me if you want to join or not. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day. See you later. I'm a crackhead, I'm a crackhead.